Do I prefer to kiss with my eyes open or closed? Uh, I wake up every day and I find I love you more than I did the day before. I think probably open, otherwise you don't know who you're kissing. Do your best New York accent. Hey, what are you, you coming, it's the... Uh... That, that's the godfather. Hey, I'm walking here, or something like that. That's my best. Well, when your family gets together, do you have a favorite holiday movie that you watch? Oh, yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, growing up, it was always Indiana Jones. We used to always watch that. Or the Bond movies, because they would always be played, uh, James Bond. Um, but uh, a festive movie, uh, for me, it's probably Elf, um, or Santa Claus the movie, going back a bit, or Home Alone, of course, which is a classic. My favorite travel destination would have to be Thailand. I was there recently at Christmas and New Year, uh, learning Muay Thai in, the, in a gym there, and uh, it's such a beautiful country, and the people uh, are amazing. What would you be doing if not acting? Any hidden talents or skills that you could have made into a career? Wow. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm, I, well, I'd love to have been an athlete, though I don't know what. Um, something endurance sport related maybe, or outdoorsy, but also um, maybe maybe in the, the food or drink industry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, maybe a chef or something. I, I love cooking or at least watching people cook. The most embarrassing moment in my life probably was when I was doing a play with a very intimate scene and my mother was in the front row and um, yeah, that was uh, pretty embarrassing to be, um, to be basically making out with someone um, completely naked in front of your mum. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Um, I, I think I'm introvert, yeah. My ideal date or romantic scenario would probably be, be something along the lines of some so a great uh, intimate dinner with a fantastic view on a mountain top, uh, followed by uh, a cozy fire and, uh, and great company. My favorite article of clothing, as Jamie Fraser, probably be his boots, which have survived a long time. The way I prepare for new scenes is by drinking and, no, we work them very closely with the director and the writer, and then Katrina and I get it on. What color is your toothbrush? Uh, my toothbrush uh, is white and blue and it's electric. Which role has been more similar to your own personality, the spy or Jamie Fraser? Thanks, and as I always say to you, never change. You always say that. Thank you, Maka, that's very kind of you. I shall never change. And my own personality, to be honest, I'm not cool enough to be a spy and I'm not kind of strong enough to be Jamie. He's a ginger. I'm a, I'm a blonde, uh, and Sebastian the Spy, well you have to go see the movie and you'll find out. Um, he's a, a pretty cool character and got a very nice tuxedo, uh, but he's pretty useless with the girls, you'll find out. What are you most excited to film next season? Wow, well the season is going to be split, like the book I think, you know, into to this, you know, the parts in France and then the return back to, to Scotland and without giving away spoilers but there's definitely some uh, some battles towards the end of, of uh, that season and obviously you know Culloden was this uh, big battle where you know, pretty much the Highland culture was wiped out uh, after that so um, that's gonna be a very an historic moment. What can I tell you about my character in Bloodshot? Uh, I mean I can't really tell you too much could be uh, so many spoilers but um, I am, uh, obviously it's based on the Bloodshot comic book series by Valiant Comics, and uh, they all deal with characters that are not superheroes, but have special abilities. Yay. What's the most used app on your phone? Uh, probably the Twitter app. <laughs> I think I broke the internet. Beef, chicken, haggis, or fish? Haggis. Will you ever come to Indiana? Um, I, I, yes, I will come to Indiana. I don't even know. What, what's Indiana famous for? Do we know? No, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, well, I'll come and find out. How about that? The Indy 500. Oh my God, I'm so into motor racing. Um, uh, yes, so I'll come and see the Indy cars. Though I'm not quite sure about you guys just going in a circle. I, I much prefer Formula One where they go, um, you know, on, on these different kind of tracks. Actually, my co-star is, uh, is doing a movie. I don't think I'm allowed to say that. She's doing a movie about motor racing. Best or worst pickup line you've ever heard? <laughs> I probably used it myself. <laughs> um, uh, what's what's a what? I don't know. I, actually, no, I've never used I've never used a pickup line, and I never had one used on me. So please go ahead. You're Jamie Fraser. You don't need to use. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to use some pickup lines on me. 
Hello from Holland. Yes, you guys. Hi. You're crazy. Madeline Schilder de Boer. Uh, that's my Dutch accent. Um, hi. Greetings from Austria. I won't do the Austrian accent. If Doctor Who offered Sam a trip in the TARDIS, yes. would you go to the past or to the future? Asked Charm L. I'd like to go uh, in the TARDIS with the new Doctor. She is incredible. And um, I would I'd go forward in time. I've said it before. I'd love to go to the future. Do a burpee. Oh, Jesus. Wait, really? Okay, I'm not sure I can. In here. You ready? Here we go. Yay! There you go. That's one burpee. Oh my god, and now I'm sweating. Um, that's all you're getting. Would you travel with Graham again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course I would. Yeah. And we're all hoping. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, we hope to. You know, I think if if this this season goes well and I'm, people enjoy it, then hopefully we'll go and do another one. We've got some ideas. Uh, Florida, hi Florida. Oh, actually, I will be in Miami soon. Um, obviously, being a Scot, I'm not used to the heat, so I might melt. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to being there.